Hello and welcome to Veterinary Instrumentation's latest episode of Under the Skin, a videography series introducing key devices used during orthopaedic surgery. In this episode, we will be focusing on a staple range used in orthopaedic surgery, wires and pins. So, let's go under the skin. Wires and pins are simple but versatile implants. They may be used on their own for pinning of fracture fragments or in conjunction with other implants, for example, as part of an external fixator. There is a wide variety of pins and wires available from VI with a range of clinical applications. Pins may be threaded or non-threaded. There may be some crossover between the two types in clinical use, but as a general rule, threaded pins are more likely to be used as part of an external fixator and non-threaded pins are more likely to be used for fragment fixation. Let's look at threaded pins first. These can be described as either positive threaded or negative threaded. Positive threaded pins may be end threaded or mid threaded. The threaded section has a wider outer diameter than the shank of the pin. The thread pattern will be similar to either a cortical or cancellous screw. Negative threaded pins have the same outer diameter along their entire length. These are end threaded pins. The thread pattern tends to be finer than on a positive threaded pin. The length of the threaded section may vary. For example, an Ellis pin has a shorter threaded section compared to a bicortical negative end thread pin. Choice of threaded pin depends on surgeon preference and on the clinical case, but what's important is the size of the pin in relation to the size of the bone. As a general rule, for external fixation, a surgeon should choose a pin with a threaded section that is approximately 25% of the diameter of the bone at the point of insertion. Smooth pins may also be used for external fixation, but their use is generally reserved for fixation of fragments internally. The most common are arthrodesis wires and Kirschner wires. Arthrodesis wires have a trocar tip at each end, whereas Kirschner wires have a bayonet tip at one end and a blunt tip at the other. A and K wires are often used for internal fragment fixation. The choice between A and K wires will largely come down to surgeon preference. A and K wires are available in a broad range of sizes and two different lengths. Steinmann intramedullary pins, or IM pins, are 300 mm in length. They are available with a trocar tip at each end or with one end threaded. Some surgeons prefer the threaded version as it may reduce the chance of the IM pin backing out. IM pins are inserted into the intramedullary canal of a long bone to provide stability. An IM pin has very good resistance to bending but no resistance to rotation or compression, so will commonly be used in conjunction with other implants. For further information on the VI range of wires and pins, please visit our website or contact our specialist technical support team. Join our online community by following our social media pages, keeping up to date with the latest releases of training and education material, as well as company updates.